built up walls like mansions to the sky Protect my heart so it would survive But you climbed in like no one else could do The day I knew I needed you I was complicated Hi Aries, welcome to my channel, we're doing a reading. Is the mic on? Audio, audio, yes it is. Okay, <laughs> so um, we're gonna be doing your reading over here. It's a bi-weekly and it's a special. It's called the Twin Flame. I used to do this if you're an OG, meaning back in the days, I used to produce 24 videos a day. One Twin Flame in the morning, 12 Zodiacs. And I think another soulmate on that night at 12 again. Yeah, back in the day. And I still have the energy. <laughs> but it drains. Okay, so I'll explain how this works. Okay. It's a different spread. Okay. So, here in this reading, you have... My right side is you. But you can always... This is the reading that I can. you can tell me. You're, no, you're on the left. Okay? Because in this read. But I would say that this is you, okay? Now, this card is uh, what the universe would be. So it's in the middle of this. Because, of course, the two of you have this connection. But in the middle, there's a time, which is, you know, the universe owns, you know, the universe rules time. The magic, basically, is this, okay? I'll coach you as we go on, and you shall see. This one does not get read here, but the thing is, it's in the core, of the reading, so I have to get it first. Okay. So that's that. This doesn't get read here. This is you. Think of it as like a yin yang. Okay. Okay. And then it stops here. And then we continue here. Because supposedly you guys are connected. That's why this spread is one circle. One circle, not one direction. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, is that right? Okay, yeah. So get confused. All right. Okay. Now this center part over here is important. I don't get it until the end of the read, which is gonna be in the extended. All right. So let's see what's going on. Mm -hmm. Let's see. First card right here. The cards are read different here. Okay. Um, you're coming in as a four of pentacles. Right. Looks like money is important and time is important and you're important um having this card of course shows that you have um you have this uh tendency to shut down on people you have a tendency to just uh because it's not ghosting because they know where you're at you just ignore okay so there's ignoring mm -hmm. now stubborn of course but this is involving you want to feel secure for yourself. I, I don't want to be um, vulnerable uh, for Pentacles. Now, he, she, or whatever here has a lot to offer. You think that there's none, but you're holding on very, very tight to this Pentacle. So these are the things that you cherish in your life, which I feel this involves about um, you know time. Okay, because for me, Pentacles is time. Um, and you don't waste, you know, you don't, you're don't. you not going to talk to anyone. I'm not going to waste my time here and there. Do you understand me? That's the um, Four of Pentacles. So something about um, you being special, okay, Aries. Um, special in the sense that you, in order for someone to, to reach you, to talk to you, it's like, it better be, you know, we better be talking about some serious stuff over here because I can't waste no time. You understand me? So you're very, very important. You can be a very busy person. Because it came from two of pentacles also, right? Mm. Now, the other person here, this is where they start. Magician. Okay. Now, this person 
um, who's in the magician, um, is all about learning, creative. Um, of course, it's known also as a trickster. You know, it's an illusionist. Um, I don't sense that they're lying to you. Not right now. I just sense like they like to manifest things, which is they want love, they want business, they want career. Um, they like to um, how to say this? They like to do things their own way. Also, they feel like they've uh, learned and they know what they do. You know, like I'm a master of this because the magician is a master. The fool is nothing to master. So this person is a conjurer. Okay. So what is a conjurer? It's like I feel like they bring things to them and they're good at it. Like they are a go-getter. It's an action card. You know, it's a Virgo Gemini right here. Now you are a four of pentacles, which means like you're protecting yourself from this person. Um, it may appear like you don't believe them. Okay. Um, what they're offering you? It's like ah, so what? They're gonna go offer me ace of cups. Heard that? Oh, they're gonna offer me ace of wands, which is passion. It's like heard that. Four of Pentacles. So nothing can penetrate your. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> nothing can penetrate <laughs> your you being in recluse right now. Okay. Hmm. Three of Wands. Um, how does it work? Um, your end over here. You're thinking and wondering, of course, that about the possibilities of you know of uh, endless possibilities having the three of ones it's optimistic right i always say that this is optimistic um it's also a person who uh, wants to travel relocate um but you know you've done the work let's just say you've already applied for a visa or a passport or um a new lease or you know some you're just waiting for a new job somewhere else and then once they say like all right you're admitted or they approve you then you go so this is waiting, just waiting. Mm -hmm. You're not waiting for them, I don't sense that. Um, you're waiting for life to change. You're waiting for life to be stable. Mm -hmm. Is that one. Um, now, it appears also like you turn back yourself from them. So it means like you don't want to have any kind of emotional uh, connection with them. They hold one of the wands. So for you, it's like they know where I'm at. If they want me, they can call me, they can see me. Got the Nine of Cups, okay. Now, having the Nine of Cups on their end, I told you, this person is manifesting. This person loves to be around friends, enjoys good company. Um, they can have a good appetite also. Uh, it can be also out drinking Nine of Cups, so be careful if you're drinking. Um, but it's more of, I like what I'm doing right now, and I'm enjoying it. I'm, you know, bachelor-esque energy. Um, has a lot of desire, a lot of ambition, um, very, very goal-oriented person. Um, but they feel like the, uh, the universe has their back. Uh, so very, very confident. Okay. Wow, you stand tall, Arrows. Okay. Because next thing after that, for me, after the magician, okay, um, you know, another action card is the emperor. Um, so you're coming from a place of security, you know, you're not a security guard, are you? Because <laughs> I say security. Doesn't there's nothing wrong with it. You're coming from a place of security. Um, nothing defines you outside of yourself. You are confident. You're an individual person who um, is very, very uh, how to say this? Goal oriented, driven. Very, very driven. I feel. Um, the emperor makes changes. Business entrepreneur. Um, you're a leader. You're a boss. You know, that's the emperor. Um, so, but you're leading yourself this time. It's you who's who. You're the one, what you're doing is like you're trying to move yourself from something. Okay? I really feel like a big change with the Emperor. Um, manifesting, of course, but more of like you don't need anybody to help you. Because the Nine of Cups with the Magician, I feel like this person do get help manifesting the things. They got to get, you know, they got networks and association to help them. Well, you, you don't rely on that. But I got it. I told you. With the three of ones, you get the ace of ones, right? And that's why for you here, remember, oh, there's two cards, guys. Two similar deck, but different, separated. Uh -huh. Did I explain that? I forgot to explain that, yeah. So on your deck, you get three of ones. On their deck, they got four of ones. And it's in the same position, is it? No, it's not. But in that, in a sense, like that way. Diagonal, right? So they're the one who has control of this relationship. Meaning, if they want to, if they want this to happen, easily they can. Having the four of ones, and then the magician. Um, do they want it? Yes. 
Um, are they gonna be happy with you? Yes, you know, whoever is in this side. Um, do they care about you? Yes. Um, it's almost like it's all yes with this person. Okay, it's all yes. Okay, so I move, I move. Oh, here, yeah. Okay. And in the exact opposite. I see, I told you. See, it's a yes. It's love. Remember, I said it's like, do they love you? Yes. Care about you? Yes. And apparently, mm -hmm, you do too. You stand on this emperor. You know, you need to make a decision though. I'm not sure why you're protecting yourself from this person. It can be also just a younger person. Um, I really feel like this um, kind of situation right now is about power control on who gets to say, you know, what the direction the relationship is going to be. Mm -hmm. So there is some ego battle there. Love wise, it's there. Relationship wise, it can be very, very positive for both of you. But this person chooses to delay it. They know it's going to happen. They're well aware of their feelings. They know their desire. But what they choose is just to hang themselves here. So now this becomes either they're trying to see enlightenment because that's the hangman. Okay. Um, there's another side of this where they just want to play a game of, well, I'm not sure, you know, the whole, let me think about it, hangman. What am I compromising if I'm going to be in a relationship? But it doesn't make sense because they're the one manifesting this. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to see, I really feel like they're trying to see what's good uh, you know, benefits to having a relationship. They're trying to see, it's like, oh, am I the relationship type? So it's, you know, it's, it, remember this spread is very objective. Uh, um, that's the term, right? Not subjective, objective, yeah. Um, so, you know, they're trying to see the light to this region. This one. Page of Pentacles. Okay. So, you have something to tell this person. I feel like you haven't told them. Um, of course, it's an important message. That's a page. Uh, normally, it's called an apology. I'm not sure what you're going to feel sorry for. But if you're just holding back from telling them that you love them, then you're going to express it. Okay. Interesting. And the last card on their end, Wheel of Fortune. I love it. So they're counting on the whole, if we're fated, if we're meant to be together, we're meant to be together. I always ask the Aries to watch their Navamsha Ascendant, okay? Or where Venus is in your Navamsha, your D9. Check it, okay? Might resonate with that. Um, having the Wheel of Fortune on their end, um, they feel like, okay, we can do this, but I need the Aries to come to me. <sighs> they will go with the flow. But if you're going to be holding back, they're also going to hold back. So who's holding back? An eye for an eye be you know, between the two of you. I really feel like you have the message here. You're the care of the message. They're just manifesting this. doesn't matter like who's the girl going by, whatever. Okay, It doesn't matter because it's masculine and feminine energy. They're counting that you, okay, you be the one to express, to come, and they will wait on Someone's waiting. Who's gonna reach out for us? It's looking on your side. You can flip this. You can go here. Okay. <laughs> Just saying. The inner cards gets to be read in in YouTube, in Instagram, in YouTube. Okay. And then the outer right here. Mm hmm. The outer will be also in the extended. I'll get more of this deck. And then this deck also, so it goes more. And then the center of the relationship, which means, you know, these are the universal, the universe's advice here. This is the universe card. Okay. So Aries, you have a very, very spicy October ahead of you. This is your bi-week, please. And you, you come here, you're present. So this is going to be impactful to you, Emperor. Now, if you're wondering how to get a personal reading with me, every night I do what it's called a personal re reading with Sal. That is as close as you can get. If you channel my energy out there and you send out your intention, that might be the energy of the tarot that will be picked up. Forget about your zodiac. It's really about you. If you just put the intention, if it's not, you don't have to click it. But if you're wanting and seeking guidance, then that's the perfect video for you. So forget your zodiac. It's going to be for you. If I can read you from here, it doesn't stop me reading you from the personal reading. Okay? Thank you very much, Aries, for watching and follow me in the extended down there. Bye, guys. Everyone keeps asking me how to get the most accurate placement of your zodiac sign. I use Cosmic Inside App. I just put my name, time, place of birth, and then I get all the details.
of my natal chart. Your sun sign, your moon sign, your ascendant, and other planets as well. So, download it. It's in my affiliate link below.